What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about my favorite class setups for Black Ops Cold War. There's five that I have been using a lot since the most recent update, which of course was 1.06. Now, of course, these could change in the future. I will update this video, of course, as you know, time goes on, things change in the game, that kind of thing. But let's go ahead and hop right into it. The very first class, uh, which is probably one of my favorite AR classes, is the AK-47. Now, of course, when it comes to everything else that I'm running besides attachments, the 1911 pistol, stem shot, Semtex, fill mic, uh, flak jacket, tack mask, scavenger, gearhead, ghost, and ninja. Of course, I am running perk greed here. You could always run gunfighter if you prefer gunfighter. Also, if you're playing team deathmatch a lot, I would recommend that you take tack mask off and run forward intel instead because team deathmatch spawns right now are kind of crazy and there's a lot of split spawns going on. So, in my opinion, forward intel is better. But if you're playing Dom, hardpoint, that kind of thing, uh, tack mask and flight jacket are better in my opinion. Now when it comes to what I'm running on this gun, uh, I'm running the suppressor. Uh, you can go with the Gru suppressor. I'm not a big fan of this because of the effective damage range and bullet velocity uh, kind of cons. Now yes, you do have that on the normal suppressor, but it's not as you know severe. So I just usually go with the normal suppressor. When it comes to the barrel, I like to run the Liberator Barrel for Bullet Velocity. Bullet Velocity is big in this game. Um, if you do not have Bullet Velocity on your weapon, if you're lacking in the Bullet Velocity department, if your gun has uh, attachments on that hurt the Bullet Velocity, you will be able to tell it. You'll feel like you're shooting a lot of ghost bullets. You will feel like um, that your gun's just not working correctly. You'll feel like you're getting a lot of hit markers, that kind of thing. Another good choice here, of course, is the Reinforced Barrel as well. So either one of these, in my opinion, are the two best that you can run. This will give you a little bit of effective damage range and bullet velocity where this is just straight bullet velocity. So either one of these is perfectly fine. I kind of bounce back and forth between them both myself. Uh, when it comes to the body, I'm not running anything there. Under barrel, I am running the Spesnaz grip. Now, of course, this does give you a shooting movement speed negative, but of course you do get vertical and horizontal recoil control. Uh, when it comes to the magazine, Here's where you can do something a little bit different. If you're going to run a magazine, I would recommend just the 40 round mag. Even though a lot of these other ones look really good, like the 50 round fast mag, you are getting a 25% ADS sight time reduction. If you are running gunfighter, you could possibly throw something on here and make up for it with a different attachment. But if you want to run a, a magazine with this class setup, I would recommend the 40 round mag. I'm personally not going with anything uh, with anything here. I'm going with the Gru Elastic Tape, which is going to give me aim down sight, flinch speed, resist, uh, flinch resistance, aim down sight time, excuse me, and aim while going prone. Of course, that's going to be shooting movement speed and a sprint to fire speed time con. So I'm going to make up for that with the skeletal stock, which is going to give me 30% sprint to fire and 40% aim walking movement speed. Like I said, if you wanted to run a some type of magazine, I would say drop the stock and then run the 40 round mag. The next class we're going to look at, of course, is going to be another AR, which is the Krieg 6, which is slowly but surely, in my opinion, almost becoming better than the AK. It's not quite as deadly as the AK, but it has some really, really good recoil control. Same setup here as always. Like I said, if you're playing team, you might want to drop that tack mask for forward intel. With this class, sadly, you're going to have to run a red dot because the iron sights are absolute garbage. So I'm running the mill stop reflex. Uh, the Cobra is also another good choice. The micro flex LED is also another good choice. It's kind of pretty much just personal preference, whatever you like to use. Um, of course, I'm going with the suppressor. I'm not a big fan of suppressors uh, in all modes, but the Krieg and the AK just feel right with a suppressor, in my opinion. Now, if you prefer not to run a suppressor, you could always go with just the regular muzzle brake to get that vertical recoil control deduction but you know there's not a lot of there's no cons there but there's not a lot of pros there either uh the infantry compensator is not bad either that's going to give you that vertical recoil control but of course give you some horizontal recoil control um the socom eliminator is also another thing you can look at agency suppressor i know a lot of people like kind of like with the ak think that this last suppressor is really good but you kind of have to look at that negative 30 bullet velocity and effective damage range con compared to the normal suppressor where it's only 15 each uh 15 so that is why I'm going with this normal suppressor. But like I said, you do have some other options here with three other barrels if you prefer not to run a suppressor. Now, when it comes to the barrel uh, to the uh, barrel itself, uh, I'm going with the bullet velocity barrel once again. Uh, I prefer to have this on at all times on all weapons that I can have it on. Uh, you can go with effective damage range, like I said, the takedown barrel, but the bullet velocity barrel, in my opinion, is the best. 
but either one of these, once again, is a very good choice. Uh, when it comes to the underbarrel, I'm running the field agent grip, vertical recoil control, horizontal recoil control. Surprise, surprise, this is one of the better grips in the game. The only time that I really don't like this grip is, of course, if I'm running a submachine gun. That shooting move speed is not as key on an AR. Yes, it does kind of hurt when you're trying to strafe, but when it comes to a sub, shooting move speed is very important. So try to keep this off your submachine guns, which I will show you here in just a second on another class that I'm running a sub with. And last but not least, the Airborne Elastic Wrap. Now, you could do a few things here. You could drop this all together and not run a muzzle at all because this thing does have good recoil control. Go with the magazine or go with the Raider stock if you do have it unlocked or the no stock attachment. But personally for me as a blade, this class setup has been working very, very well. Like I said kind of at the start of the video, these things will change as time goes on. Things get nerfed, buffed, whatever the case may be. And plus, these are pretty much just kind of like a template. You guys can use these, set them up, kind of, you know, whatever perks you're using, whatever the case may be, if you want to use Gunfighter, you know, whatever. Uh, just kind of use these as a template and try to find some things that will work out for you. The third class we're going to go with is the AK-74U, uh, which in my opinion now is one of the best subs since the MP5 nerf. Of course, we're going with the KGB Eliminator Barrel, which is going to give us muzzle flash concealment, but 17% vertical recoil control. Of course, the cons are that shooting movement speed and horizontal recoil control. Not too bad on this gun, in my opinion. I think it really flattens it out. When it comes to the barrel, I'm going with the bullet velocity once again. You can go with the 9.3 reinforced, which is going to give you some effective damage range and bullet velocity. The one thing I like about this Liberator barrel is, yes, the aim walking movement speed is going to be the con here, which I really don't like. So you could go with something like this, which is going to give you sprint movement speed and aim walking movement speed cons. That's kind of why I went with the Liberator. But either one of these, once again, are really, really good choices. You can run a suppressor on this gun. I am not a massive fan of the suppressor on the 7.4U. I don't know what it is. It kills really well without one. And with one, I feel like it kind of hurts the weapon. The only way that I know you can run a suppressor on this successfully is is if you run the gunfighter perk, that way you can just load the weapon up with all kind of attachments that will kind of help with that uh, issue of having that suppressor on. When it comes to the underbarrel, I'm just going with the regular foregrip with this. I'm going to get rid of that horizontal recoil control with that, and of course the vertical recoil control with the KGB Eliminator. You can go with the Spesnaz grip, but that's going to be a 30% shooting movement speed con. I already have a little bit of shooting movement speed cons. I don't want to just go ahead and stack on to that. Like I said, you don't want to have too much shooting movement speed issues with a sub. Uh, so that's why I decided to go with just the regular foregrip. When it comes to the handle, I'm going with, of course, the Gru Elastic Wrap, which in my opinion is the best on every single gun in the game, no matter if it's a sub, AR, LMG, whatever the case may be. And last but not least, the KGB Skeletal Stock. Now this will hurt your hip fire accuracy, so keep that in mind. You can go sprint to fire, aim walking, movement speed. Another really good choice here, in my opinion, is the no stock attachment, which is only going to give you a 15% hip fire accuracy con. You could always uh, take something off, slap a laser on if you'd like to make up for that, or you could always drop the handle and run the 40 round drum. So just keep that in mind. There's several different options there, but this setup right here has been working really well for me as of late. Uh, the next class setup is possibly probably my favorite sub in the game right now and that is the bullfrog of course this is a pp19 p90 hybrid kind of version gun um and i really really like this gun I, i'm running a suppressor on it just because there's tons of ammo with this weapon of course you have that big mag you could always run something like the spesnaz compensator the kgb eliminator the regular muzzle brake or absolutely nothing if you want to just drop this all together this gun does not have tons of recoil to begin with but I really like this weapon with the sound suppressor. I'm going to have a game I'm going to upload here on the channel in a few days that I played with this uh, weapon with on Domination on Crossroads and have had around 60 kills with it. I mean, this is a really, really good gun in my opinion. When it comes to the barrel, surprise, surprise, bullet velocity once again, the Reinforced or the Liberator, always your two best choices, just kind of whatever feels right for you. Uh, sometimes, you know, I feel like using the Reinforced, I feel like I'm getting better hit marker detection. Sometimes I feel like it's better with a Liberator, so just keep that in mind. But also know that submachine guns have really, really bad bullet velocity in this game. So bullet velocity is always a good thing to have on just in general. I go with the regular foregrip here for that horizontal recoil control. Once again, I could go with the Spesnaz, uh, but 
that shooting movement speed bonus. I was trying to keep this gun as fast as possible. The handle grew elastic wrap, and last but not least, the skeletal stock. Once again, you could go with the no stock attachment. If you prefer to have, you know, that hip fire uh, con down a little bit, you always could go with just the wire stock, but you're not going to have any hip fire uh, negatives. That is all, also a good choice on submachine guns if you prefer something like that. I don't hip fire that much, and I still find that with this skeletal stock, even though I have a con of hip fire accuracy of 30%, I still feel like I can get a lot of hip fire kills uh, if I absolutely have to. But like I said, majority of the time, I'm not hip firing. But if you're a person that runs around hip fires a lot, you might want to you know change something up there. And last but not least, we're going to go with the M16 class here. Um, now, I kind of put a bonus in this with the AUG because these two are kind of the same gun in my opinion, but at the same time, they're a bit different. Uh, with the M16, I'm going to go with the gunfighter perk. I like to run everything I can to kind of maximize this weapon, so we're going to go with the mill stop reflex, whatever sight that you prefer. Uh, muzzle, we're going to go with the infantry compensator to get that vertical recoil uh, control. Uh, this way, this gun's pretty much going to be flat when you're bursting it. You're not going to see a lot of recoil to it. When it comes to barrels, I just prefer the rapid fire barrel. I know a lot of people like this strike team barrel. A lot of people like the task force barrel. Uh, the damage that it shows here, this 14% and this 14% damage bonus, I really don't see a massive amount of difference in the damage. You're not going to see it to the body. The only time you're going to see any difference here is going to be to the head. Now, it is nice to have headshot damage with these burst fires because you can get a lot of one-shot kills. But or you know one burst kills, but there's a lot of cons to these as well. So I just prefer the just the regular 16.3. You can go with the strike team or the task force if you're a person that aims for the head a lot. If you're getting a lot of headshots, this will help you out. But personally, I prefer just the 16.3 that has no cons and a little bit of improvement to the speed of the you know the fire rate, the trigger pull, because this gun's a bit slower than the AUG when it comes to fire rate. It feels kind of clunky at times, in my opinion. When it comes to the body, I'm going with the SOF target designator. That way we can see people at further distances. Uh, while ADS, you also could use, use the mounted flashlight because it seems like either one you use, even though the reveal distance is different percentage-wise, it seems like you can see pretty much anybody anywhere on the map with a flashlight if you're aiming at them. When it comes to the body, once again, the field agent foregrip. Uh, magazine, 45-round mag. Like I said in the uh, uh, kind of the AK video there, if you want to run a mag, there's a lot of good options. Just this 45 round mag, just the basic magazine you can get to begin with on any weapon is the best in my opinion. Yes, you get a con of reload quickness, but you don't get the con of some of this other stuff. Aim down sight, speed, reload quickness, and aim down sight. I, I just feel like a lot of those are hurting your weapon more than helping, so I just prefer to go with the regular 45 round mag. When it comes to the handle, airborne elastic wrap, and last but not least, the Raider stock. You can kind of see a theme here. Once you get these last few attachments unlocked on the uh, handle and the stock, these are, on my, in my opinion, are the best you can put on any weapon. And last but not least, like I said, kind of a bonus gun here. I did say I was only going to do five classes, but the AUG. The AUG, in my opinion, is a lot more uh, of an entertaining gun to use than the M16. It's a lot better running around with. You can get a lot of one-burst kills, and as you can see, I'm even using a suppressor. And I still get a lot of one-burst kills, even though both of these guns have been nerfed. And I expect them probably to get nerfed again very soon. I'm going with the mill stop reflex, the regular silencer. You can use the agency silencer, but kind of as I talked about before, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, bullet velocity drop here on these weapons, and that's not a good thing in my opinion. So I'll just go with the normal silencer. The bullet velocity, of course, you get 15% con with the silencer here, or you get 30 with the agency suppressor. You could also go with the muzzle brake or the infantry compensator. It's kind of up to you if you prefer not to run a silencer, but I, I like to kind of run and gun with this. Even though it is a burst weapon, it does burst a little faster than the M16. So we're going to go ahead and slap on this 18-inch rapid-fire barrel, get a little bit more, uh, you know, ability to be able to pull the trigger a little faster, uh, a little bit of faster fire rate. And you can pretty much run around and smoke people, one burst people at point-blank range, at medium range. It is really, really nice. Uh, for the underbarrel, the field agent foregrip, and of course, the airborne elastic wrap for the handle. You could also go with something like the Raider pad here if you prefer not to run the handle, or you could drop the muzzle altogether and go with the Raider pad here as well. That's also a very good setup if you don't want to run a muzzle of any type. But as of late, I've been using this playing team deathmatch. It works very well in team. If I go to something like Hardpoint Dom, uh, I will drop this muzzle, like I said, use that Raider stock. Uh, you also could, you know, 
put on, like I said, you know, the vertical recoil control here for the muzzle brake or the infantry compensator. But that Raider, uh, that Raider pad here on the stock is also a very good choice. Anyway, guys, I hope this kind of helped you out building some of your classes. Like I said, use this as a template. Kind of use this as something that you can uh, kind of just look at and think, you know, if I want to use a, a particular, you know, setup, perks, gunfighter, whatever the case may be, use some of these attachments and try them out. See what you think about them. I know it's kind of been a pain to rank these guns up, but now that we have this double weapon XP, hopefully all of you can get your weapons ranked up and everything unlocked. And you can try some of these weapons out with some of these attachments. Because in my opinion, like I said, some of these attachments you get at the end make the guns a lot better than some of the stuff you have on uh, the guns to begin with. Of course, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon uh, in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, GT Racing, which is the affiliate here on the channel. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.